says hello here on the island. Welcome to Lola's Lanai. Now what? Guess what? It's the greatest resort on the whole island. I'm Rosa, and I live here with my grandmother, Lola. I just call her Lola. <laughs> okay, so we live right here at Lola's Lanai. I love when new friends come to visit. So welcome to our island home. <laughs> I'm really glad you came here. Know what? When you come to stay with me and Lola, we want you to feel like family. Would you like to be my family? Yes! <laughs> oh, goody! And guess what else? Here on the island, we call our family Ohana. Can you say that with me? Ohana! Ohana. That's it. Ohana means family. We are one big family, even if we don't live in the same house or share the same mom and dad. Hey, I know what we need to do. We need to celebrate you being my Ohana. Stand up like me and let's sing a song. sit down. <laughs> so maybe Lola Slanai looks different than where you live. Know what? I want to show you something. Look, we have lots of pretty flowers and big waves that crash on the shore. Oh, I almost forgot. Lola has two rules for all of our Ohana at the Lanai. They're really good rules too. <laughs> Rule number one is to be kind. Can you wave at me with one hand and say, be kind? Be kind. Yay! Lola says that families listen to each other. One way you can be kind to your ohana is by listening to each other. And rule two is be safe. Everyone wave at me with the other hand and say, be safe. Be safe. Okay, so the island is full of amazing things. But there are some things that could hurt you if you aren't careful. So, Hana, <laughs> you can stay safe by staying close to me on our adventures and by keeping your hands to yourself along the way. That's it. Those are Lola's two rules. Easy peasy. <laughs> I say we head out on an adventure. Okay, this must be where Lola wants us to start. Know what? 
Next week is the Lanai's annual luau for our ohana on the island. A luau is a big party with lots of yummy food, fun music, and dancing, and my favorite part, all of our island ohana. I made some signs to tell everyone about the luau, and now I just have to put them up. Will you help me put up the signs? Yes! <laughs> We need to put a sign in place where lots of people will see it. Do you think we should put it back here? No. No? <laughs> well, I guess you're right. Silly me. People walking by won't be able to see it hidden over here. Oh, Hannah, what about this? Do you think this looks like a good place to put up a sign? Yes. I think so, too. To hang this sign up, we need to tap three times to make sure it stays in place. Ohana, let's do this together. Here we go. One, One two, two, three. three. <laughs> we did it. We have another sign to put up. Where do you think we should put it? Those sound like great places, and I think you're right. We do need another sign over here. Ohana, let's tappy tap, tap again to make sure it stays in place. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> we did it. Now all of our island Ohana will know that the big luau is just one week away. I think it's time to head back and tell Lola that we work together to put up all the signs. I have a special way to get back to the lanai. Know what it is? Do what I do and say what I say. I love the island. I love the island. And dancing the hula. And dancing the hula. So let's go back. So let's go back. To see Lola. To see Lola. Oh, look, we made it. There's Lola. Everyone say, Aloha, Lola. Aloha, Lola. <laughs> Aloha. Oh, we are so happy to have you join us on the island. And thank you for your help today. Since you're family while you're here, I want to show you some pictures from our family photo album. Okay, if you're ready to hear about your family from long ago, let me see you click on your listening ears. Click, click, click. Great! Now, you also need to put on your special eyes. Zoop, zoop. Oh, that's perfect. Now let's see. This is Cornelius. He's part of our Ohana from long ago. Ohana is how we say family around here. Cornelius was an officer in the Roman army. He and his family loved and worshiped God. One day, as Cornelius was praying, he saw an angel of God. The angel told him, Cornelius, God hears your prayers and knows that you help poor people. Send men into the city of Joppa and have them bring back a man named Peter. So Cornelius did. Now, Ohana, let me see you pretend to pray. Fold your hands like this. That's great! You look just like Peter. You see, the next day in the city of Joppa, Peter was on the roof praying. And as he was praying, he saw a huge sheet come down from heaven. The sheet was filled with animals. A voice from heaven said, Get up, Peter, kill and eat. But the animals that were on that sheet were the ones that Peter had been taught not to eat. On the count of three, let me hear you shout, no. One, two, three. No. That's exactly what Peter said. He told the voice, no, I will not eat them. But the voice told Peter that God said it was okay because God made those animals. While Peter was wondering what all of this meant, Cornelius' messengers arrived at Peter's house. They asked Peter to come back to Cornelius' house, but Peter wasn't sure if he should go. 
Peter had been taught to not talk to Gentiles, and that's what Cornelius was. But God's Holy Spirit spoke to Peter and told him that it was okay to go with them, even though they were different than him. So the next day, Peter and some of his friends went with the messengers back to Cornelius' house. Let me see you pretend to walk like you're on your way to Cornelius' house. When they arrived, Cornelius' house was filled with his friends and family who were excited to hear from Peter. It was a very big deal for Peter to go into the home of people who were different from him, but Peter now understood that God was saying it was okay. Peter went inside and said that God had showed him, in a vision, that he loves all people and treats everyone the same. Peter told them all about how God sent Jesus to take our punishment and how after Jesus died on the cross, he came back to life. Everyone in Cornelius' family believed in Jesus that day and got baptized. Ohana, no matter where your family comes from or what your family looks like, God loves your family. And that's what I want you to remember on and off the island. Let me hear you say this after me. God, God loves, loves my family. My family. Great job. Aloha, Ohana. Aloha, Lola. I love to look at our family photo album. It's one of my favorite things to do. God really does love our family. He gave me a great family, all of my Ohana family on the island, and all of you. Wait a minute, I have an idea. Since you are part of my Ohana family too, would you like to come to our family luau next week? Yes! <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. This is going to be the best family luau ever. And I'm so glad God loves my family and lets us have so much fun together. God loves my family and he loves your family too. Okay, so say this after me. God, God loves, loves my family. My family. You sounded great, Ohana. I say we stand up and sing a song together to celebrate. Everyone, stand on up with me. Love each other, love each other As brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters In honor others, in honor others More than yourself, more than yourself Romans 12, 10, Romans 12, 10. God gave us family we can help and love. We're gifts to each other from up above. You and me, all the people we see. We're all part of God's family. Love each other, love each other. As brothers and sisters, as brothers and sisters. Sit down, okay? Guess what? 
That fun song reminds me of a Bible verse Lola taught me. Just say it after me. Love each other. Love each other. As brothers. As brothers. And sisters. And sisters. And honor others more. And honor others more. Than you do yourself. Than you do yourself. Romans 12, 10. Romans 12, 10. You know what? We are all one big family. We can love each other like brothers and sisters. And we can treat others like they are more important than we are. That's what God wants us to do. So now, would you like a cool treat? Yes! Yay! I'm going to use my shell phone to call Anu. He's a cool chameleon with some tasty treats. Hold your pretend shell phones like this. And when I count to three, let's all whisper, Anu. One, two, three. Aloha, Ohana. If you can tell me what you learned on the island today, you can get a tasty snow cone. So let's get busy building your cool treat now. Tell me, when Cornelius was praying, did the voice tell him to go find waves or find Peter? Peter! That's right. The voice from heaven told Cornelius to go to Joppa and find Peter. Let's load up this first snowball with yummy syrup. Okay, now it's time for your next snowball and your next question. Did Peter go into Cornelius' house and sleep or talk to the people? Talk to the people. You're right. Peter went into Cornelius' house and talked to his family, even though they were different than him. Peter told them that God sent Jesus to everyone because he loves us all so much. Let's load up this snowball with some yummy syrup. It's looking delicious, but I think it needs one more scoop of ice. And you know what that means. One last question. Does God love every family everywhere? Yes. Yes. No matter where your family comes from or what you look like, God loves your family. Now it's time to put the yummy syrup on this last snowball. This looks perfect. Only the best for my ohana. Enjoy your snow cone. Aloha. Aloha, Anu. Thank you. Everyone grab your spoons. And let's eat up these snow cones. Mmm, so yummy. Did you like your cool treat from Anu, Ohana? Yes. Oh, I'm so glad. <laughs> Thank you for being my Ohana, my family. I have to get back to the front desk and help Lola. But know what? God gave you a family, too, because he loves you so much. You can say this after me, okay? God. God. Loves. Loves. My family. My family. That's it. I had so much fun with you on the island today. I do hope you will come back to see me again next week. Aloha, Ohana. 